What's up guys, Justin here with the RealtimeEssentials.com back with another Unity terrain and landscape tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to quickly place trees on your terrains using the paint trees function. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So last week we talked a little bit about how to create terrain inside of Unity. I will link to that video in the notes down below. In today's video, I wanna talk about how we can use the terrain tools in order to paint trees onto this terrain. So you can quickly add trees and vegetation into your scene. And so for this video, I'm gonna be using the free Speed Tree Unity Asset Pack. So I will link to this in the notes down below. So this is a sample pack from Speed Tree. Um, the trees are set up with LODs. And so we're not gonna worry too much about that for right now, um, but this is going to be a good sample pack for us to use. So first thing we want to do is I'm going to go into Unity right here. Make sure that you've imported or you have whatever assets you're going to use um, inside of your assets down below. And so basically what we want to do is we want to place some trees on the surface. Remember up till now we've used the paint tool right here. Well now we want to focus on the paint trees tool. So we're going to use this option in order to select the option to paint trees. And so notice how when we click on this, this gives us some instructions. It says to click to paint trees, hold shift and click to erase trees, hold control and click to only erase trees with selected type. We'll look at all of those in a minute, but right now, notice how if I click and drag, nothing is happening in my scene. And so the reason nothing is happening in my scene is because nothing is defined yet. So what we need to do is we need to come in here and we need to define some trees that we can paint on our terrain. So to do that, we want to click on the button for edit trees. We want to click on the button for add tree. So the first thing we need to do is assign a tree prefab to our brush. This is basically us telling it, okay, this is the tree that we want to paint. So to do that, you can click on this little button right here. And so you should get a list of all the prefabs that are in your scene. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Broadleaf Mobile. I know this is showing up as pink in the preview, but it's not actually broken. Um, I just had to upgrade this to the Universal Pipeline materials. So I'm just gonna double click on that. And that is going to add the tree pre prefab to our list. So now we're gonna click on the button for add. So now notice how I've got a little box in here showing the tree that's placed in here. And so, now that we have that set, if I was to click and drag, notice that this is going to place trees on my surface, just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on these real quick. Notice how they have the LODs working, which is really cool, meaning if you back up, notice how it's showing less detail than if you zoom in. That's something that's kind of built into the speed trees trees. But this gave me way too many trees. All right, so let's undo this. We're gonna do a control Z. We wanna jump back into our paint trees option. And so notice how there's a number of different options down here that we can use in order to set things like how wide um, the brush is that's placing the trees. So if I was to drag this to the right, notice how this brush gets bigger, right? It's gonna place more trees in here. Um, if I drag it to the left, then the brush is going to get smaller. So notice how that's very small right here if we do that. So in addition, you can also set the density of trees that's created. So if I drag this way to the left and then click and drag, notice how this is placing these in here a lot more slowly. And probably clicking and dragging is not what you wanna do. Probably you just wanna single click. And so let's say I single click right here with the density low, that's gonna look like this. If I turn the density up and then single click over here, notice how I get a lot more trees really quickly inside of my scene. So if I click in here, notice I have way more trees on the right than I have on the left. And so in addition to this, there's also tools in here that'll randomize your tree height and width. And so notice right now, the box in here for random is checked. And so what that means is that means this is gonna randomly size our trees. But notice how if I was to click and drag this to the left, and this to the right, what that's doing is that's saying, okay, you can randomize anywhere within this range. And so now if I was to click and look at this, notice how we get some trees that are really tall. And I'm gonna undo that and bring my density down a little bit so we can look at this a little more. But notice how some trees are really tall and some trees are really short. So these trees over here are really tall, these are really short. You do need to be careful though, because notice how within this range, I'm getting this distortion in my trees, right? So these trees are currently being distorted because I have my randomization set so high. So probably what we wanna do is keep it real close to the middle 
but maybe something like this where we get a little bit of randomization, but not a lot. So now, notice how the trees aren't the exact same height, um, but they're a little bit closer and you're not seeing the distortion in the way that we were before. So in addition, the random tree rotation does exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's gonna set your trees to randomly rotate in here so that they're not all facing the exact same direction. And so let's go ahead and let's erase these out. So I'm just going to hold the shift key and click and drag in order to erase these. Notice how that's erasing out everything that's in here because we've only placed one kind of tree. And let's say that we wanted to add more than one kind of tree. So let's just come in here, click on the edit trees button, click on add tree. So now we can add a second tree. So we were using the broadleaf mobile. Let's use the, let's use the conifer desktop. So we're just gonna click on this and we're gonna click on the button for, or we're just gonna double click on this. We're gonna click on add. Now we have two kinds of trees in here. And so now if I was to click in here and add some conifer trees like this, you can see I can add either kind of trees to the scene. So now I've got the different kind of trees intermixed in my scene like this. And so let's say that I wanted to come in here and just erase out the conifer trees and not the other trees. Well, what you can do is you can click on this tree type to select it and then hold the control and click in order to remove just the tree types of the tree that's selected. So notice how I can remove all the conifer trees in here without removing the broadleaf trees. And now I wanna pay attention to the option here for mass place trees. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna create an overall covering trees over my entire landscape. So if I click on the button for place trees, what that's gonna do is that's gonna open up this uh, script that allows us to set the number of trees that we wanna place. And so you can set the number of trees in here by clicking in and setting a value. So let's say I wanted to add, let's say 3000 trees. I could select this and then click on the button for place. And that's gonna add 3000 trees automatically to our landscape just like this. So this can be an easy way to quickly come in here and add these trees. And notice how it's adding random trees of both types that we have in here. So this is basically gonna use all of the different types that we have in here in order to mass place the trees. And so let's say we wanted to get rid of some of these trees. So all we would have to do in this case, notice how, by the way, it didn't place these on the steeper part of this hill. So it kind of takes into account the steepness of your terrain when it places these. But if we did wanna get rid of some of these, all we would have to do is just come back in here and just use the paint function like we had before in order to paint these out. So just because they were placed with the mass place tool doesn't mean you'd get rid of them any other way. And so one other quick thing I wanna note about that is let's say I was to bring in a controller. So I'm gonna bring in one of the controllers from the character movement fundamentals asset, but um, really any controller that's set up with a collider should work this way. But if I was to bring that controller in and then click the play button and then walk around in my terrain, notice how you'll actually collide with these trees. So if I run into these trees right here, notice how it stops me. So um, these trees are acting as actual geometry in here that you're gonna collide with once they've been placed. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Unity content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.